Hey, hey, let's go ahead and get started with a reading. We're using the tea leaf cards again today. Let's go ahead and see. Let's pull one from here. We're going to go ahead and take that one. All right, what does that one have to say? Oh, we got love. All right. Um, love does not just have to be about relationships, you know, romantic. It can be, you know, love of life and love of a career. Um, the month of June could be of importance. Your birthday could be in the month of June or next June. Or maybe for some of you, you found love in June. All right. Um, let's go ahead and see what this has to say. Let's see what this is talking about. We've got grapes. Time to go out and have some fun. You know, those of you looking for love, maybe it's time for you to put yourself out there. Um, go out, meet new people. You could meet a new best friend. You could be, meet a new love partner. Um, what else do we have here? We've got hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. Um, maybe you need to take some time off, you know, and again, go play tourist for a day. Go do something. Um, and maybe for some of you, maybe you went for a vacation or you're going for a vacation in, in next June and that is where you will find love. What else do we have? Ooh, okay. Ear, good news. All right, and we've got fair man. Dealings or a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair could be of importance, okay? You could meet this person um, when you're out and about. What else do we have here? Okay, we got a dark man here. So now we got a fair man, we've got a dark man. So for some of you, it's gonna be the fair man or you could be walking away from one of these men and meeting up with another. So now we have a dark man. Uh, or maybe what you've dated in the past happened to be, um, you know, one type and now you're opening yourself up to a new type. Maybe for some of you, you're like, I don't like a man with brown hair and brown eyes. I like men with fair hair, you know, fair skin and blue eyes and blonde hair, you know. Um, what else do we have here, Spirit? We've got the tower, solid foundation, success with effort. And what else do we have here? We've got dog barking, advice from a friend. Okay, and we have the ant work, achievement, and success. Let me see. You could meet this person, uh, this man at work, okay, at their work. Crack cup, dissatisfaction with life. Okay, bottom of the deck, what do we got here? We got the rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Oh, go figure. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this. Listen, you guys, it's time for you to take a step back. Okay, it's time for you to take a step back from relationships that are just based off of the physicality of the relationship. You know how many times I see people stay in relationships longer past the expiration date because the you know what is good, okay? But that doesn't mean that their mental health is good. It just means that what's going on in the bedroom is good. You know, and so my suggestion is you need to take your mind off of that for a while and you need to put it on things that are actually important in life. We have the ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. OK, so what else do we have here? Wheel indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. All right. For some of you, again, you know, this could be about you walking away from a relationship maybe for some of you you've met someone new um but be mindful of be mindful of going from one relationship to another rebounds only put you back in same situations just play different players in the game yeah we have the dragon here beware of self-delusion so exactly what i'm saying you know, beware because a lot of you guys will jump from relationship to relationship and it's usually the universe sending you in someone just to make you feel good about yourself, just to make you feel pretty, just to make you feel handsome, just to make you feel a certain way so that you can like you start realizing, wait a minute, wow, there are people out here that are actually still attracted to me. You know, I'm not a bad person. You know, even though my partner didn't make me feel attractive, somebody else has come in and made me feel good about myself. What else do we have? We have broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Yeah, listen, nine times out of 10, even rebounds don't work. And the reason being is because you haven't really changed anything about your life. All you've done was jump from one partner to another. Have you learned anything? Do you even know who you are? Or are you just 
you're not wanting to work on anything within yourself. So you haven't even taken a moment to actually get to know who you are without this person being in your life. No. All of a sudden, what you're doing is you're trading out one shit situation for another shit situation. Because really, that's what this is all about. And it is saying advice from a friend. And hey, I am your friend. I wouldn't be here doing this on a daily basis if I didn't care for you guys because you're not just collateral damage in my life. Um, you know, Lily, we have spiritual love. Okay, that's exactly what this says. So now we have love and spiritual love. Okay, overall energy is the love card. So this is about, you know, a, a spiritual type of love. Um, we've got target, a goal oriented person. So I feel like, you know, if your goal is to fall in love with somebody who's going to be there, who's going to understand you in a way that others couldn't do so, then you have to understand yourself on a level that you didn't realize was even capable. You know, we get so... I, and I see this one a lot where people will stay in a relationship longer past the expiration date because they're afraid to truly get to know themselves on a completely different level. But at the end of the day, if you're a goal-oriented person like I think you are, if you're still sitting here watching this video, then you know your, your goal is to find a love that is more profound than you have ever experienced in your life. It's like heaven on earth. And yes, a lot of that time, it comes from you. It always comes from self. And then you're able to align towards another individual who is also doing that for themselves. All right. What else do we have here, Spirit? What else do we have? Okay, we've got a few cards that popped out. We have firecracker excitement, okay? It is really exciting when we meet someone new. Um, but again, be careful of the, the flags, the red flags, okay? I'm seeing a red flag here. It says, do not be tempted to lower your standards. A lot of the time, people go from one relationship to another and they don't end up you know, um, doing better than they already were. It's like, you know, if you're going to put up with crap, you should have just stayed with the, per you know, your partner, the father of your mother of your children, right? If you're just going to go into another relationship where there's all these red flags. So we've got desk, pay attention to your work. Okay. I feel like it's going to take a lot of hard work on yourself and then money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. I think for a lot of you, what you need to be doing is just getting back to you, the basics, getting back to your work, getting back to, you know, enjoying life and, you know, take your mind off of relationships. I mean, what the hell do you even want one for anyway, right now? Honestly, I think that a lot of people are so stuck on love because they're looking for an escape. They're looking for someone who's gonna come in and save them instead of just saving yourself and realizing that no one's sent here to save you. Um, you know, I see so much of an emphasis on love. That's why I've kind of veered away from it, even on my YouTube channel, because I feel like it has gotten to a place where it's more toxic. And honestly, it's become like a birth control for me where after all the readings that I've done and, and the readings that I've done on YouTube and you know, watching my friends in relationships, it's very hard to find somebody who's in a happy, healthy, loving bond, who's not bound to some form of toxicity or in some type of a trauma bond, you know? And to me, it's gotten to a place where a lot of it has to do with the sexuality of the relationship and not actually two people who are working together for the same common goal. Now, I'm not saying those relationships don't exist because I know damn well they do. Unfortunately for now, they're very few and far between. And for everybody who is coming into a new relationship right now, those relationships probably have about a 3% survival rate right now. 3% that out of 100 Okay, and the reason being is because the planets are just not f placed um, accordingly. I'll be honest with you, they're just not placed where they should be in order for two people to be able to come together. You know, we have North Node in Aries. Aries is all about being um, selfish, being independent. South Node in Libra, it's like you've already gone towards your relationships. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, You've already done all of this. So why is it that you feel it necessary, you know, to be in relationships that don't bring any sort of balance into your life? So again, my suggestion is stop going towards relationships that 
uh, just because of the sexual component or you're looking for someone to save you. The best relationships that I see that come together, and this is that 3%, is the people who are getting back to the basics, getting back to their everyday grind, building their legacy, building their empire. They're not focused on love. They're focused on building their foundations and stability in their own lives. And when they are no longer focused on relationship aspects, that's when you'll come together with your divine counterpart. I'm going to leave that here, you guys. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information's in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help my channel grow. You guys, give me a heart in the comment box. Let me know how this reading resonates with you. I love you guys all so much, and we will chat again soon. Take care.